Okay guys, today we're going to learn about Native American artifacts. So I want you to turn to the person next to you and answer these following questions. Have you ever seen a Native American artifact? And after, or are there Native American artifacts in Eastern New Mexico? And do you know what an artifact even is? So turn to your whoever's next to you and talk about it. It's up a yes, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like a. Huh? Okay, so by a show of hands, how many know what an artifact is? So you don't, kind of don't. So it's kind of it has historical value or cultural value. So any kind of like a rock, it could be paper, it could be anything old. So something cool, more more likely. So here's just an overview of what we're kind of going to cover. So we're going to talk about artifacts in northeastern New Mexico, the types of rocks in that particular location, and then we're going to do a group activity. So, so artifacts uh, in northeastern New Mexico. The discovery of Indian artifacts in this particular location paints a picture of the lives that lived here. The artifacts seen in this location are very rare and neat. So why do you think I included these pictures? And I've taken all of those, except for this one, I'm in it, so. <laughs> Just any ideas? Why, like, why, what? That's Eastern New Mexico? You, you're not wrong, that's, <laughs> you're on top of it. So what about like the environment and the landscape? Like what about the natural resources that are there? And then you, you saw in the overview that we're talking about types of rocks. So maybe it's about rocks, <laughs> this is an Indian cave. And I know you can't really see it, but there's black in the back because they lit their campfires there. And yeah, and that horse is really tall, so it's a big cave. So here are the rock types found in this location. So this is red sandstone, flint, obsidian, and quartz. And uh, do you think it matters if it's native or not native? Like it's found in that area or not found in that area? Yes. Why is why? Like why would it matter? Because if it's not found there, then it means somebody somehow it made its way there, and so it has some history of how it made its way exactly. to the area. Okay, so do you think red sandstone is native? Yes. It actually is not oh. native. I know, I know. It's 100 <laughs> miles away from the nearest sandstone deposit. This is why I said northeastern New Mexico in this particular location, because red sandstone is found everywhere in eastern New Mexico, right? So if you actually find an artifact that is made out of this, it's 5,000 to 7,000 years old. And I actually brought one, so I thought that was crazy. And then flint, it's more common. It's built up off of earth pressure, so it is native. You can see a lot of it everywhere. And then obsidian, it is not common. It actually was from California, and it's built up from volcanic pressure. So they had a trading route there, and they traded like pelts and whatever they grew for obsidian, and obsidian used to be used as a scalpel for metal, so. I think quartz, very common, it's native. You can walk outside and probably find a rock like this. So we're gonna do an activity, and first we're gonna do it together, and then I'm gonna separate y'all and do a little group. So, I don't, I couldn't bring it in with me, so, cause it's kind of, you know, attached to a rock. But can y'all give me some characteristics for this, and then we're gonna come up together with a function? So just raise your hand. It's a hole in a rock. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. it's a hole in a rock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is a hole in a rock. So, it's a, they're pretty big holes because the dogs had to fit in there. Yeah, my whole arm fit in there. Oh, wow. And then he, there was water in there, and that's I, that's the only reason I found that because his head was in there. I took all the pictures. Oh, was he drinking the water? <clears throat> yeah, and my whole hand fit in there. So, <laughs> what kind of function? Oh, wait, what is that? Were you scared to stick your hand in there? Yeah, but I wanted to see if there was something in there that <laughs> goes along with this, but yeah. <laughs> He is like a storage cubby. Oh, definitely. I never thought about that. Yeah, like that cut their stuff in there. Does anybody know what it's actually called? Porosity? Like ventilation holes, since oh. we're talking about water inside of it. You know, a miniature I never hole. thought about that, but for <laughs> this case, it is called the matata. Oh. Matate, matata, whatever you really want to call it, because I hear a lot of different names. And its function actually is to grind down grains such as wheat and corn. So it's kind of like a placeholder. You put it in there and then you grind it down, and I'll show you what you grind it down with later. But all right, so I'm gonna put you all into groups. So yes. Five minutes. 
Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So everybody, okay, y'all are one group that way, and then that way, and then okay. So I'm gonna hand y'all a piece of paper and then an artifact, and you're gonna do the same thing. Characteristics about it, and then um, y'all won't get one group each. Uh, characteristics about it, and then you're gonna put a function to it. Okay. Characteristics we just put sharp arrowhead, um, they look like arrowheads, um, and spheres. And then for the functions, we put it could be used for jewelry, hunting, and carving. Exactly, and it is an arrowhead, you're right. And it's used to hunt wildlife, sorry about that. And then this one, who had this one? Okay, what did y'all, this one is harder, I know. So, what did y'all come up with? What was your characteristics and what was your function? Uh, we said it was smooth, sharp, jagged. Yeah. 